Hi, my name is Mariah Ray Britt. I'm a visual artist. I'm a painter, um, printmaker, and I do digital work as well. Um, I'm interested in um, stories of origin and particularly like what makes a place a home, how we define that in our lives. And um, conversely, I think that eventually that place defines us as well. Um, this is a watercolor inspired by um, the glass grates of New York City, um, a place that I called home for many years. Um, this is an etching with the watercolor edition. And I'm just looking at the um, textures and the patterns and the details of our um, daily routines and our rituals. This is a crosswalk that I used every day. Um, this is a, a slate trio uh, series of mono prints. Um, inspired by the slate sidewalk of my old dear neighborhood. And I was just looking at the simplification of um, the shapes and the patterns and um, the textures that have occurred over time. And um, I just imagine all the weight that these places have absorbed physically and energetically from the people who live there. Um, and they're just rich and vibrant. Um, the printmaking method actually really helps with um, capturing these textures well. Um, and there's just so much diversity in the detail and the patterning. This is inspired by um, cobblestone of Soho. And last year I was walking a lot during the pandemic and I came across this tulip tree, which is um, an indigenous tree to our region. Um, it has these spiny arms and branches and these exotic flowers and giant um, leaves. So this is just an animation of this, its bloom from winter to spring. Um, I also tried to find the patterning and the textures throughout the whole se all the seasons that we were home. Um, this is um, patterning from the leaves that um, were colored in autumn and actually the leaves from the tulip tree as well as just using some fabric and trying to bring that um, the organic feel of the tree into art. Um, I've also made a bunch of prints. Um, this is uh, the tulip tree amongst some birch trees in the background. I have a detail here. Um, it has this beautiful pattern on its bark and again these um, wild branches that stick way out to the sides. And just um, also, again, just thinking about the simplification of the shapes and the patterning, um, bringing it into monoprint and adding watercolor um, just to find some different colorways and um, interest and in experimenting with this kind of fleur de lis patterning on there, on its bark. Here's another one that I've done. Um, and then also doing um, some painting on this. This is watercolor on Yupo, which is a polypropylene, and it makes the paint kind of flow through and um, dry in that same way. Um, this is the tree in the summer, uh, summer like sunset evening. Um, and I was trying to capture the leaves and the colors and the shapes that were happening um, alongside that summer breeze at night. Um, this is called Bloom. This is another uh, watercolor on Yupo, and this is about these um, wild exotic flowers um, that you can't really see unless you're uh, really looking. They kind of sit up on top of the uh, leaves, and they kind of pool water in them, so I imagine that for wildlife and pollinators, um, it's this beautiful, wonderful tree for us. Um, I'm also bringing in these shapes and patterns and textures into digital. And this is um, a digital illustration uh, repeat pattern that I've made from the shapes of the tulip leaves, tulip tree leaves. Um, and I hope to um, bring this into animation as well as um, print this on textile and see if I can grab that beautiful um, texture in that way onto fabric. Um, so in all of these ways, I'm hoping that um, I'm finding through the details of patterns and textures and shapes um, that I celebrate the environmental heritage that's so important and wonderful and beautiful about the place that we call home. Thank you.